Here are five things healthcare professionals should know about drug-induced kidney injuries. First, there are three main ways that drugs damage kidneys. Some drugs decrease how much blood flows to the kidneys. Examples include NSAIDs, ACE inhibitors, and ARBs. Some drugs directly injure kidneys. Examples include penicillins, cephalosporins, contrast dyes, and aminoglycosides. Some drugs also obstruct the flow of urine from the kidneys. A common cause is calcium stones from excessive or high-dose calcium supplementation. Second, patients at higher risk may include those aged 60 or older, experiencing dehydration, with diabetes, high blood pressure, pre-existing kidney disease, heart failure, or liver failure, or having recently had surgery or a procedure that used contrast dye. Third, symptoms can occur days or months after starting a new drug. Most mild to moderate kidney injuries do not have any symptoms. People with a severe kidney injury may complain of feeling tired or confused, a sudden increase in blood pressure, a sudden change in urine output, or swollen ankles and weight gain from fluid. Fourth, the most useful lab markers are an increase in serum creatinine by at least 27 micromoles per liter in 24 hours or by 50% in seven days, a drop in EGFR by 25%, and or a decreased urine output. Finally, patients who experience a drug-induced kidney injury may need to have their medication doses decreased or stopped altogether.